Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today I thought I'd take you to the charity shops but I thought instead of just showing you all the things I liked I'd show you all the things that you can kind of guarantee you'll find in charity shops. So often people think it's a complete lottery and although that is completely true there is things you'll expect or I would expect to see in most times I go charity shopping in most shops. There's kind of generic items that will end up popping up in the charity shops quite often and I thought I'd show you things that I assume I'll be able to find every time. Obviously sometimes this is not true. It is a complete lottery and also different seasons, different things will be donated. But in general I can normally guarantee I can find these few items in the charity shop so I know if I'm in a pinch I'll be able to find them. I am also needing to go buy some underwear, so I'm gonna do that today. Um, I go to Rome soon, so I need to get some bits and bobs for that. Um, and then I might go to the cinema after. I don't know how much of that I will take you along with me, but I thought I'd just show you the general things you can find in charity shops. I was put on like a cute outfit, um, so I'm hopefully gonna try and get a picture in the car park, I'm thinking. I brought my gorilla pod so I can hopefully get a good pick. But yep, yeah, let's go to the charity shops. Okay, so I need to buy underwear. I am gonna buy underwear from Asda's. If you judge me for that, go feel free. I need no underwear. The pair I'm wearing currently, I've got holes in. And I need some nude knickers because for Rome I've got a lot of like white and like linen um, like dresses. And yeah, I need nude knickers for them. I also need some white socks to go with my new trainers. Um, right, let's see how cheap we can get some knickers. So, they didn't have any nude knickers in the style I want, but I got some white ones. These, these will do. And I got some white socks. Six pounds, some knickers. I hate being an adult. I, do have some, I actually get all my favorite bras after Mazda. Um, I know, Mazda aren't particularly sustainable, but very few places sell my bra size that aren't like specialist bra shops. It'll set you about like 50 pound a bra. I don't have funds for 50 pound a bra, so. Asda's bras do me well, but um, if you have any good cheap places to get bras that are sustainable, then let me know. Because I do think I've got enough cup size, but I just, I'm longing it off because I don't want to buy new bras because that is long. Um, but alas, let's go buy this and then we'll start with our thrifting. So I'm in Basildon, I don't know if I said that. So you've got the new scope that's been done up, you've got a British heart, you've got Haven's Officers Outlet, you've got a mind you've got cancer research there is also st luke's i very rarely go down to it though because um it's kind of out of the way and i must admit it's not like my favorite shop so i very rarely go down to it i have to walk through the bus station which is like the nicest part so i try and kind of avoid it but um in theory i could go there as well which i might um let's see what time my film is and then i judge it from that i always need to eat some lunch at some point but yeah it's also if i'm moving really strange i feel like hurt my neck, I'm going to slept funny, my neck's all stiff and painful, so if I'm like looking at things really weirdly, you know why. It is very hot today, or oh, this girl in a really cool jacket, <gasps> it's a Ferrari racing jacket, love it. Anyway, alas, let us go into our first shop, which will be Scope. Also, just before we go in, still looking at things on my thrifting wish list, not much is left, a real leather jacket, a real leather gilet, black trainers. So that's something else I'm missing, but in general, they're the, they're the things I'm missing. Oh, I love the new windows here. The idea of having very clearly how much things are in the window just shows like, the embarrassment of like, asking and then not wanting to pay that much. I love this outfit. That kind of 70s style. And they've got a cabinet in the window, kind of more designer items, which again, are really fun. Let's actually go in. Something you'll always find in charity shops are a lot of dresses and normally in a range of sizes. This is a cute Zara one. This pink one's calling my name, but if you are in, oh my gosh, it's like a little, a little wrap. That's so cute. Love that. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for dresses, like you'll definitely be able to find dresses in a charity shop. Normally a range. That is gorgeous. I don't wear short dresses and it's only a Zara large, but um you'll always be able to find quite a big selection of dresses in charity shops. That's gorgeous. Kind of a mesh style. Um, so if you are looking for dresses for an occasion, like definitely try charity shops first. And then also like day dresses, they tend to have a lot of. Um, this is like more longer style dresses. Um, jumpsuits. 
but yeah you'll always be able to find a selection of dresses and jumpsuits in charity shops that's really sweet i'm also open to getting one more outfit for rome because i've packed my black maxi dress um but i do think i would like something a bit more trendy i don't know that's a full suit that's an amazing find i am looking for a pinstripe suit and a lilac suit still but um that's gorgeous but be slightly too big for me i think um this is stunning zara skirt you'll always be able to find quite a lot of skirts as well in a charity shop again in a bit of a range of sizing depending on what time of year it is as well you'll also be able to get um shorts um but they'll often have a lot of kind of skirts and shorts also always a nice selection of men's shirts i have a white one and a black one um long sleeve and i've got one today with me it's a nice extra layer um but i would never go online and buy like an oversized shirt like just going to the men's section buy a shirt that would fit oversized on you and your set like you will always be able to get shirts if you want one in patterns like you can always find a patterned one um but in general like i would never ever buy like a white oversized shirt like it's almost five pounds you can always find them in the men's section. Quite often you will also be able to find leather jackets, um, but just bear in mind that they've kind of, they know they're worth a lot of money, so like you won't be able to find one super cheap, but you will always find leather jackets. I'd say probably every other trip, like they're not an everyday occurrence, but you'll normally be able to find a nice leather jacket um, in the charity shops. Then in the men's section, you'll always be able to find t-shirts. This one's like an Adidas one, but you'll always be able to find like an oversized tee. Um, obviously just shop maybe a couple of sizes over your own. Um, quite often they'll have cool graphic tees or just plain ones if that's what you're looking for, but you'll always be able to find some sort of oversized tee in the men's section. Again, um, another thing you'll be able to find is unusual pieces, kind of one of a kind, funky, funky pieces like this it's not guaranteed you'll always be able to find like vintage fun things but something like this is super cool and something you wouldn't see in kind of every shop so something to bear in mind you might be able to find to pick up some funky gems this coat is also kind of funky i get sweaty just looking at that it's only a plt one but again quite funky and this is a lovely leather blazer unfortunately a lot of things you do find now is fast fashion but you can occasionally get like vintage e gems this looks vintage 100 percent super fun purple blazer so jackets again so you can always find this is the only issue i find with buying secondhand jackets that aren't real leather is quite often they peel um, and that's why i'm holding out for a real leather one instead of just buying a another biker jacket that will break on me in days another thing you'll always have to find is like fun mini bags i would never pay full price for like a mini bag obviously i only buy second hand but you can always find really cute mini bags in the charity shops so that's something to bear in mind it may take you a while to find the style you like but in general you can always find like cute mini bags like this one shoes is definitely more hit and miss but sort of plain shoes like this are quite often you'd be able to find the same kind of loafer style shoes as you can see there's quite a few pairs of loafers in here and you'll quite often be able to find loafers these ones are really cute actually and then same with funky pairs of heels like it's not as common but you quite often can find cute pairs of heels like this these are fun vintage river island ones oh i love these shoes seven pounds they're really nice they were my size i potentially get them um super cute you can always find it is baby clothes quite often new with tags i love this and would get this for my niece but it's gonna be the wrong kind of season it's quite summery and she will need winter clothes when she's that small. So I loved these mini bags. I said they always have loads of bags in your local charity shop. So I would go and check them out if you are looking for a new bag. The next thing you can normally find is really nice dresses. I liked all three of these that I'm showing you now. They always have a really nice selection of shoes in this British Heart Foundation. Again, with the sliders and kind of nice little heels. That's common to what you'll find in a British Heart. Again, some loafers. One thing is really annoying is size inclusivity in charity shops isn't the best, but we're working to get there. And cookbooks is something you'll also always be able to find. British Heart Foundation was eerily quiet, so I felt rude talking. But as you can see, lack of size inclusion is something that I hate to break it to, but is in charity shops 
quite often they'll have loads of sizes, they'll get to kind of a 16 and they'll diminish, they'll be like three items, which is a bit heartbreaking, but alas, it's something, it's something to work on. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's go into Hayden's offices now. Um, always the charity shop always have loads of ties, so something to remember. And the blazers, I quite often find that a charity shop will have loads of blazers. So if you're looking for like an oversized blazer, definitely try your local charity shop first. This is another thing, always find waistcoats in a charity shop, that one's really cute. I haven't jumped on the waistcoat trend, but I do think that would be really sweet. Would want it just to be plain at the back, but that is pretty fun. This Daymark jumper, um, vintage funky jumper, as it is again, it's like you can probably find it in the charity shops. I'm gonna leave it because I've already got an armful of stuff, but um, I really, really love that. I did end up getting a few pieces in there, I didn't film too much because um, I was chatting to Sam, who's the manager, and then Jordan came in, who's the assistant manager at Corian. Um, so we ended up chatting, having a all right chin wag, and um, I got three pieces, which is good. My bag is very heavy. Um, next up is Mind. I feel like I've kind of covered all basis of what is it, the general things you'll see in charity shops. Um, so I might just film some of my favourite pieces in the next one. And then I might do a haul at the end or I might do a haul in a separate video. So I'll have to wait and see. Shop is Mind and they've got the coolest pride window. So far I love this feather boa. Um, and these are super cool. That dress is really nice. Love that hat. Let's go in. That's for a huge trend that you could normally find in charity shops. They did become slightly harder when like the trend became like really huge. But you can quite often find... Um, so I'm getting distracted by this hoodie because the graphics are really cool. Um, but yes, that's what I best. It's super fun. It's like really good with the skirt. I just got that. It's seven pounds. It's new. I'm not like an off-the-shoulder gal too much, but I'm tempted to try it on. Um, I think this outfit would look cute. I'm just not sure I get enough wear out of it. Shirt is super funky. Love a funky shirt. But yeah, I'm making like a black strapless kind of top for holiday. I have got a couple packed. Um, I think another one would be cute because it's only 35 degrees in mine. I can't like, rewear things as I normally would. Selected charity shops will have like fun deals like this. This is everything's two pound, and then the bucket, everything's pound. Um, so be prepared to have a rummage when you go charity shopping because um, you never know what you might find. That is gorgeous. It's a super fun top. Um, Two pounds, such a bargain. Super, super cool. The thing you always find in charity shops is DVDs, and a lot of them. I've been looking for Matrix for a while and haven't been able to find it, but I have faith I will be finding it soon because there is just so many. Next, last shop of the day. Cancer research. I'm not going to walk down to St. Luke's because my arm is killing me. My back is really heavy. I do have more stuff in it than I normally do. I haven't ended it properly, but yeah, let's try cancer research. This is all dresses and jumpsuits and things. Um, this is everything £5 less. Um, walk to the section I'll fit in and start on a look. She's just so cool. Very Barbie. This is a bit grubby, but very fun. Another guarantee you'll probably get is um, very cancer research from Basildon. Some interesting music choices. They literally just yelled out Q in the music um, and that's kind of rare for shops because obviously normally they don't put on explicit songs. The thing you quite often find in charity shops is like crochet blankets like these. This cancer research in Basildon especially always has big crochet blankets um, and they're always really reasonable and always have different colour kind of varieties so if you're looking for a crochet blanket definitely try charity shops first before you look on somewhere like Etsy because um, they quite often have different sizes and yeah. Puzzles are another thing you'll always be able to find in a charity shop, lots of different varieties and also board games and things like that. That was really successful. I ended up getting a little black top that's really cute if you go with the skirt. It's 100% silk, which is really good. Just picked up a vegan sausage roll and some potato wedges to eat in the car. Um, that was really successful. I also got, my dad loves Australian Women's Weekly cookbooks. Bloody loves them. They're his favourite things. I'm hoping this, yes, oh no. I'll show you what I just said. Oh no, to cart to get to the car park, and it's completely waterlogged, and there's carts everywhere. To go down like the other day, and it was like that. Luckily, I can cut through hands to get out and get to the car park. Anyway, they had yeah these Australian Women's Weekly cookbooks, and I actually had some in this um, cat's research before, and I got him for his birthday. So I just thought, I'll have a little look, see what I find. They had three. I should say that the books, the soft 
back books were four for a pound. So you can get another one. I was like, oh no, it's fine. I'll just get three, but so, so good. So really tough for that. He's gonna love that. And I always picked up this cute beach cover up dress. It's like leopard print and mesh with a scoop neck. And I think actually I could chuck cycling shorts underneath that and a back bodysuit and that could potentially be a home fit. If not, it's just a nice cover up. Um, so yeah, fully chuffed to go back to the car. After me saying what a successful trip it was. Oh, I tried to, I cut through Havens and I've gone arse over. Um, I've twisted my ankle and I've really gunged up my arm. I won't show you the arm. They've put plasters on it. They've anti it. They've done everything I needed to do. But I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm such a nick. Um, gonna eat my food and see if I can drive home this ankle. Not good, because we go to Rome in five, four days, which is gonna be extreme walking. So let's hope I haven't fucked up my ankle too much. I've eaten some food. I'm gonna try, try and drive home. I'm gonna scrap the cinema, um, because I think I need to ice my ankle. So let's go home. I may add a haul at the end of this. I may do it next time. I'll let you know when I'm home. I am home. I have visited my friend's mum, who's a nurse, and turns out I've stretched a ligament, we think. Um, but basically, I'm sitting with ice on it, and I can't really move it for a couple of days, which is super duper annoying. Hopefully, it'll be better before Rome. Um, but yeah, just an absolute pain. I'm going to do a haul in a separate video, um, because this video is really quite long. Um, so look out for that, that'll be the next video that goes live. These are the cookbooks though, this is just one of them, um, well two of them but I can't really show you them. Um, so that's really good, he's really tough with them. Um, I haven't tried on the clothes yet um, because I've been in bed um, and I'm just icing my ankle. But yes, thank you for watching today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment what your classic thing you always find in your charity shops are and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!